<coughs> so that is diamond season. Amen. Under the sun and everything that happened on earth, there must be time. Yeah. And I want to prophetically tell you that this is the time for the ministry to move to the next level. Amen. Amen. And prophetically, it's time for everything. But sometimes when you have sickness in your body, pain, just try to know what time is it. Amen. 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 It's just like if a woman is pregnant to put to bed, there is a time it will get to. Amen. Everything irritates the woman. Yes. The woman gets irritated about everything. True. And you cannot see a woman that wants to push. The water has burst, and you are saying, "Oh, please, let's let's place some card before you go and push." <laughs> <laughs> Your name is sorry. If she have a gun, she will shoot you. Yes. Amen. Quickly, let's see the book of Daniel chapter 12. No, let's go to Daniel chapter 2 first. Daniel chapter 2, verse 21 to 22. Daniel chapter 2. Anybody? From 21 to 22. 21 and 22. Daniel. Amen. And I need the voice to be very strong to intimidate the devil himself wherever place they are. Amen. Yeah. Daniel chapter 2, verse 21. Yeah. And he changes the times. And he changes the time. And the seasons. And the seasons. He removes kings. He removes kings. And he rises up kings. And set up kings. He gives wisdom to he the wise. He gives wisdom to the wise. And, and knowledge to them that know understanding. understanding. Knowledge to them that know. Can I just go and say, I know? I know. Tell them and say, I know. I know. Go ahead. He reveals deep. He reveals the deep and the secret things. He knows what's in the darkness. He knows what is in the darkness. And the light dwells with him only. And light dwells within him. Lift up your hands wherever place you are saying, Father God. Father God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Reveal deep and secret things. Reveal deep and secret things. Concerning me. Concerning me. Today. Today. Change my evil time and season. Change my evil time and season. And bless my life. If you believe I shout a covenant, amen. amen. In the realm of the spirit, the language of the spirit is different from the physical language. And for you to survive, you need to meet God in the realm of the spirit. Because whatever thing that happened here is already happening there. After happening, they play it back here. I feel like talking to somebody here. And I want to let you know that God is about to use his finger and write for your enemies. Mene, mene. The kernel of us. Because today their kingdom will be weighed and after that their kingdom will be overthrown. Amen. I see kingdom of poverty in your family being overthrown. Amen. Kingdom of lack being overthrown. Amen. Kingdom of difficulty being overthrown. Amen. If you will that lift your hand and say a better amen. amen. I want you to understand that the almighty God created all things to exist. Yes. He created all things to exist. He also created time and season Amen. for everything under the heaven Amen. to work with. Amen. I don't know the time you are in. But I don't want to even want to know. Amen. All I know is that every evil time and season in your life and in your family must come to an end. Amen. And God created this time in order to affect change. Amen. He created this time and season in order to direct everything he created. Amen. He made this time and season in order to suit his purpose and his plan. Amen. Amen. 
He made this time and season in order to suit you and to make you to become what you're supposed to be here. Amen. And that is why you must walk according to his plan for your life and your purpose. Amen. Am I talking to somebody here? Amen. Nothing changed anything that God has divinely established. Nothing changed it. All you need to do is to meet him there. He doesn't come to meet you. You need to meet him. Amen. And we have been fasting and praying and today is the last day of our fasting and prayer. Amen. And I want to tell you that every plan and purpose, everything that God has in store for you, whatever thing you have been asking him of, after this meeting, the Lord said to me to announce to you, it shall come to pass that you will testify. Amen. Glory to God. And I want to let you know in the other hand, God also, the enemy also have tried to change the plan of God and the purpose of God concerning you. And I want you to know this. You need to understand the man you are fighting, Mr. Satan, or Brother Satan, or anything you want to call him. You know he's very close to God in heaven, and he learned a lot. He learned a lot, am I right? He learned a lot. He learned a lot. He knows a lot. And when he pull out, he knows that God works on times and season. So he started manipulating men's time and season. I feel like talking to someone here. And that is why when he knows that you are going to be a very great woman, he will start causing you to make mistakes. It can even cause you to make mistake of having six children from six different men. Amen. So that when you now come out in the church, they say, no, the church will reject you. Amen. I, don't know, I don't know who I'm talking to here. Amen. But after this meeting, God's divine plan and purpose in your life will come to pass. Amen. Lift up your hand and say, the plan of God concerning me must come to pass. Shout the better, amen. amen. God has created you to fulfill His plan and purpose. Yes. God has created you to attack the attacker. Amen. He has created you to bruise the head of the serpent. Amen. God never created you to be sick, you know. No. But the enemy, yes. in order for you to, to cut short your program on earth, yes. He programmed you into mistake. Amen. And as soon as you click into that, he will leave you and go and sit down somewhere. Amen. I told you yesterday, after Eve, Sister Eve, Mama Eve, Grandma Eve, have conference with devil the first time. After that conference with devil, did you ever hear about Eve again in the Bible? No. Because Satan don't have time for wasters. Yes. Whenever he collect what he wants, he leaves you. Yes. Whenever he mess you up, he leaves you. And many of us, he has messed us up and he left us. But I want to add, tell you something. God is going to pick you from where he left you. Yes. And build you back again. Amen. Can I hear some of us say, Father, recycle my life. Father, recycle my life. And I want to tell you something. In life, things don't just happen. They have been made and programmed to happen. Before you left your house, do you think that today as you leave your house, do you think that it's not even, it's programmed before you were born that today you'll be here? Yeah. Amen. It's programmed already. Amen. So you are not here by mistake. No. You may think, I'm just passing and somebody just tell me to come to, that is why I come. No, it has already been programmed that that person will meet you that day because that is not the first time you have been seeing people inviting you and you never go. It's a program. And I want to let you know, whatever thing you see in the physical today, is already happening in the realm of the spirit. Amen. Amen. If you are sick physically, in the realm of the spirit, it's already there. It's programmed that you will be sick. Amen. And there are some people, it's programmed that they will be sick, and it's programmed that today is the day you will be healed. Amen. So if you miss your time, if you miss the season, that you're supposed to be here all the time, you're supposed to be here, is going to recycle again. And that is why I look as if some people's problem delay. I feel like talking to someone here. 
It has been programmed in the realm of the spirit that some certain things will start happening in your life and in your family. But I want to explain to you today that every evil time and season will no longer have effect on you. Amen. There are many of us, it's programmed that you are going to be a great woman, a great man. But God will bring a useless person in your life to useless your life. He may bring people to make you start dealing on drugs at the age of 13, 14 before you hit 18. You, as a matter of fact, you're already visiting children's prison. Before you hit 18, you end up there. Because he doesn't want you to attack him. Because God has already programmed from 20, you become a devil in his kingdom. So he will cause you to make mistakes and you get locked up. Many of us, our children have been locked up by evil program of God. Some of them didn't do anything, they just accused them. Some never kill, they say you kill. Some never do anything, they just lock up. And because they are no longer working in the program of God, they are working in the program of the enemy. But I want to announce to you in the next 72 hours, may every evil time and season be nominated, be destroyed, be crushed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let your amen shout, let your amen shout, let your amen be loud, let your amen be loud. Our, our heavenly father knows his time. He just like when Adam failed, God had in stock a program of redemption. He has a program of bringing Jesus. And it takes almost 42 generations before Jesus come to redeem us back. Sometimes there are mistakes we make, it takes time for us to come back. But there are some mistakes we make and we just walk quickly bounce back. And the enemy have these wicked plans and wicked seasons. Plan and set up for you. But good news is this, there is a backup by your Heavenly Father. Amen. I said there is a backup by your Heavenly Father. Amen. I said there is a backup by your Heavenly Father. Amen. When I refer to time and season, I mean some certain activities that is not supposed to be happening to you. There are some of us, there are some certain activities that is not supposed to happen to us. When Jesus appeared, there are some activities that he altered. Amen. Amen. There are some activities. Before he even appeared,